Hi, I'm Alex from Alex Slide Channel, and today we are going to encounter the African ball python. In this terrarium is a captive bred ball python. Now, because this is captive bred, he's less aggressive than a wild one, which you would find in Africa. Now, we're in North America here, and we breed these specifically to be calm. So, now let's take him out of the cage. See, I don't know if you can see him in there, but he's a little bit. Oh, I see him in there. Yeah, okay. Let's take him out now. He's, he's got himself wedged in there. <laughs> okay. Now he was, now this guy was raised in captivity. That means he is not wild. And he's not as aggressive as a wild one. So he won't strike. But he's pretty small because he's only five months old. And we've, we've measured him and we figured out that he is about two feet and one inches. He's just a baby. He, and he's going to double in size when he's an adult. See, look at that tongue. See? Tongue fl flicking out. Whew. Look at that. Now, these are called ball pythons because as a defense mechanism, they they curl themselves into a ball and and protect themselves from pre from predators. See, look at that. Okay, here's the ball python, and I'm going to show you his mechanism for hunting prey. If you look here, his thumb is constricting my finger, and he constricts and squeezes the life out of the prey, and that's how he kills his food. See, look at that. And they have very sharp teeth. And you don't want to get bit by a snake like this, even though they're not venomous. They don't have ve venom glands. But when aggravated, they do give you a nasty bite. They're not aggressive normally. Now, these snakes have actually a sixth sense on their snout. And in order for me to show you, I need to bring you real close up. But basically what it is, he actually can pick up heat of warm-blooded prey, which, which makes it easier for hunting his food. Okay. Now, one spectacular way these pythons hunt their food is they actually have a sixth sense. They have actually little pits on their snout that detect heat from warm-blooded prey, which help them track down their food. And they could hunt their, pre hunt their prey and strike at it and eat it even in the dark. He, he doesn't even have to see his prey because those heat receptors tell him exactly where they are. Now, I'm going to have to give you a closer look, but I don't know how I'm going to do that for now. So, see? Okay, so. Now, I don't know if you could see, but... He actually has these holes on his snout and below his snout. Those are his heat receptors. That's what, what he does to pick up heat. See that? Very boring. See the holes on his snout? I don't know if you can see, but those are his heat receptors wait, wait, wait. for picking up heat. See that? Those are his heat receptors. And look at those eyes. Very, very. They're not very good. Their eyes aren't very good, and so that's why they rely on their tongue and their heat receptors to find their food. Okay. Okay. See that? What a beautiful snake. Beautiful little snake. Now, time to put this guy back where he came from. Okay. Back in here.